Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys, and we're back finally on a setup. I'm using my friend's setup, as you guys do know. My other setup is destroyed. I don't know what happened. My computer busted. Took it back to Best Buy. They said it could be three to five days. I really don't know what the deal is going to be with that. I don't know how long it's going to take. It could take weeks. So, let me run another setup. He has a green screen, so it's going to look a little different than usual, but it still looks great nonetheless. So, happy to be back, guys. Today is my weekly Muck content video. I was going to do it on Sunday. I usually do do it on Sundays, but because I didn't have a computer on Sunday, threw up everything, guys. But Let's get into the video for today's Poodle Squad shout out, guys. As you guys know, all you gotta do is like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and turn that notification uh, bell. And besides that, guys, for today's Poodle Squad shout out, we have Madden Man. Shout out to you, man, for being part of the Poodle Squad. Greatly appreciate you and coming out each and every day to all our videos. But yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, if you guys need coins, I don't want my coin sponsor intro in this video, so I'm just gonna say it directly like I usually do. Head over to my reserve down below in the description. Uh, use code Poodle 15% off. Everything's discounted for Halloween still, so make sure you take advantage. We got Team of the Week coming today. We have the most feared stuff, some LTD, so make sure you pick up all that. And that's about it, guys. The link will be in the description. But let's get into the video. So for today's uh, video, we're going to start off with today, which is Tuesday. Monday, obviously, we had our usual Monday content, which, well, not usual. It was most feared. But today's, we got today, we got Team of the Week. So by the time you're seeing this video, Team of the Week should have been released. So I'm trying to go over some of the stuff. So I do expect them to maybe be 93 LTDs today. So possibly, if you guys watched my predictions yesterday, you do know what I predicted. Now, we had the Legends wrong. The Legends, I believe, were Corey Dillon. And one other guy, I can't remember right now, but Corey Dillon was one of them. Um, but we still have a chance for our Team of the Week current and our Team of the Week L our Team of the Week current LTD and our Team of the Week Hero current week. So we still have hope for that. But guys, Team of the Week. So like I said, it's 93 LTDs today, which I'm not entirely sure. That means the lower players will be 92s. So of course, that's it for that. I'm not going to go over that too much because we do have that coming today as well. When we have time you guys see this. But starting with Wednesday, guys. For Wednesday, we do have flashbacks. So if you guys know, Wildcard Wednesday typically follows a uh, a routine. Wildcard Wednesday was veterans last week, so it should be flashbacks. After flashbacks, we should be hitting the 90 overalls today or tomorrow. So it will be five new 90 overall flashbacks. Now, who would they be? Those are hard to predict. I don't know. Those could literally be anyone. And since we don't get them that often, there could be a ton of them. Now, a lot of you guys were asking about power-ups. I do believe our wildcard Wednesday for power-ups is probably going to be next week or the following week. So for Chase Claypool and a few other guys like that, that could be when we see those actual power-ups. So stay tuned for that as well. But we had Greg Olson, Marcus Mariota, and Dama Kung Su, Marcus Peters, and Robert Woods. 90 overall flashbacks, you know, they wouldn't be meta, but they're still going to be good regardless. So, I mean, you don't have to really worry about that too much. Um, some good ones. Could we get a flashback Cam Newton would be cool. Could we get a flashback RG3? Like, a flashback RG3 would be awesome, especially if they drop a power-up with him next week for uh, power-ups. But it's about it for Wednesday. So, again, this is the most exciting stuff just yet. And then Thursday, we have our LTDs now. The LTDs were amazing last week. The LTDs are really kicking it up a notch. So, let's see. We had, it seems to be we have three, four 91s. 490s, 492s. We have oh, actually we have 692. So I think we might be hitting 93s this Thursday, which is gonna be huge. There's gonna be meta cards because Saquon Barkley is the best back in the game, and Devin McCourty is arguably one of the best safeties in the game because that zone gets up to 99 and his speed to 92. So remember, if, if these cards were meta, if we can get some banger names next week, and you can see here clearly, right? Because these were all 300k. The ones that were meta are sitting around 800k. So that's clearly going to be they're clearly good cards. So this Thursday LTDs like when they used to drop in the past like primetime LTDs. Those cards were never meta. They were always good, but they were never meta. These cards are actually being created to be meta. So I've been very excited about Thursday LTDs. Now, I don't know who we'll get. Again, there's so many opportunities and so many people that could get it. But 93 in general is going to be huge. Now, those cards, again, could. If they're if they're meta, they're going to be like 800K plus because they should be 93 overalls this time around. Now, remember, these new ones coming. So we do have Series uh, 3 coming on the 6th. Now, for Series 3 coming on the 6th, today's Tuesday. So that means we, are, we'll be, we will be getting it on Friday. So in terms of Series 3... We will be getting Redux players. So remember, Saquon and Devin McCordy are not a part of the Redux, so they're going to be expensive for quite a while. All the, if you have any LTDs, I recommend you sell them because once they get a Redux card, they're going to drop in value regardless of who they are, so just make sure you're doing that. That's it for about Thursday, guys. Then we have Friday, which is the 50 and I believe Series 3, right? Because Tuesday's the 3rd, Wednesday's the 4th, Thursday's the 5th, and the 6th is Series 3, so make sure you're staying tuned for that. Now, Series 3 is going to be a lot. I'm going to start with the 50, then we're going to get Series 3 here. So ser uh, the 50... Again, 50 has been 92 for quite a while, so I do expect 93s as well. Now, remember, this was the first team. So the first team's over, which means we are halfway through the 50. Next will be the uh, 50. For, oh, no, sorry, this was the second team. So the next is the 50 first team. Now, the 50 first team is going to be... Think, think about it this way, right? If the, this was the second team, right? Like in real life, like the NFL All-Pro second team or first team, the second team's a like great players, but not the best players. So if these were only... Like if LaDainian Tomlinson, Julio, Cole Pepper, Favre, if these was only the second team imagine the first one i think that's where we see calvin or we see moss or we see to or any of those guys so it could get crazy now for the first drop i don't know who we're gonna see get hard to predict but it's gonna be awesome the 50 is gonna only keep getting better because again like i said this was the second team 
Like we're gonna see some crazy stuff. I don't know, maybe Pat Pete could be a part of the first team because he's been always mad and you know mad and legendary. But moving on from that, guys, we got series three. So what to expect from series three? First off, your trophy's gonna be cut in half. So remember, when they get cut in half on Friday, it's not gonna be the biggest of deals. I don't know how many trophies because trophies this year aren't as important as they used to be. Trophies used to be more about you know the getting the series master. We don't have that anymore. So people don't really care about trophies this year as much as they used to, but still, nonetheless, they're still important. But we will be getting new solos again, like we used to get like Journey and Gauntlet. I don't know what we're going to be getting this time around, but again, could we get some Gauntlet stuff? Could we get some Journey stuff finally? Possibly. We're going to get new solo sequences, of course. A new Mutt, Mutt, uh, Mutt level grind. So currently, I believe we can get 60. So next Mutt level grind will be 70 for the year. As of now, it should be 10. So again, we can expect 70. Now with the max Mutt level grind, guys, we're going to see another power pass. So these are where the power pass is going to start getting really good. Um, we have the 90. We're probably going to get like a 91, 92 at this point now or 923 depending on what they end up giving so expect the power pass expect new level of packs and remember the level of packs are probably the best bargains in madden yes they cost a buck or two sometimes three to four but those cards are those cards you get are going to be platinum cards that do quick sell for a ton so you're gonna be getting a great value nonetheless in that as well but as far as that goes we have the new maximum level grind we have the level of packs and we're going to have um the new solos so stay tuned for that it's gonna be a grind again and that grind should keep you busy probably for that week and then after that week, we should start seeing Thanksgiving stuff. Now, this year, most of it came out super late, around the 22nd, 23rd. So hopefully Thanksgiving doesn't come out that late. But we will have Thanksgiving and Black Friday. And we will have the new consoles already, but the new consoles aren't going to be Madden uh, primed yet. So we're going to be expecting current gen Madden with all that stuff. Sadly, I was kind of hoping we would have next gen for the new console, like next gen new consoles with Black Friday promo. But we are going to be getting a Blitz and we'll be getting a Thanksgiving stuff. But again, that will be coming afterwards. So not this week but yeah moving on from that so we've got series three friday and the 50 which can be a great day then we're going to have legends now legends again same thing like i was saying our ltds have been 93 so i do think our ltds will be moving to 94s this week as well as our regular legends going to 92 so guys if we start getting 94 ltd legends they're gonna start being real meta like that's the thing though that's the thing this year that i like a lot is that last year legends were good right it have to be the issue last year they had to be banger legends to be usable because most week legends were like, let's say 90, 91s, but the meta cards are 93s. This year, the legend cards are actually being some of the highest overalls in the game. So like, typically a Joe Montana 9091 wouldn't have been good, but he's so good because he's a 93. So compared to other players, it's pretty good. John Randall, same thing. John Hanna, all these guys are high overalls. Ricky Jackson. So we're seeing one of the better years of legends weekly than we've usually seen, which is surprising. So if they get to 94, 93 guys, those cards are going to be super great, especially the first drop, because that's going to be the first drop but like we don't have 94 overalls in the game like consistently yet so that's gonna be big as well as guys this is when i think or really think saquon and, like guys like barry like they're all close but i think that's when we're gonna start finally seeing those backs that just completely exceed what they were at before but that's it for that and then guys sunday i'm thinking sunday possibly since the promo doesn't end to the six now i don't know i don't think it'll come out sunday there is a small chance like a 10 percent chance we maybe get a most feared uh, ltd throughout the week at some point up until the six and the promo ends which is friday so i'm putting it on sunday right now just because and we will not be getting football outsiders as you guys know they're not partnered with them this year doing that so don't expect that but hopefully maybe we can get one most feared ltd throughout the week i don't know what the likelihood of that is i mean probably low i'm just throwing it out there now we do have for ltds we have lil mac we have let's see let's see we have i know we have deandre hopkins and we have i think that's it right i could be wrong i, think, I know that deandre hopkins was he's more along the lines of uh i don't know if he's scary sharp Khalil Mack would be scary strong. I'm hoping we maybe get a scary fast LTD throughout the week. I don't know if we will, but it would make sense, right? We got four drops. We got scary tall, scary fast, scary sharp, scary strong. But we only got two LTDs, I believe. Don't kill me in the comments if I'm wrong. But hopefully we can get one more LTD out of this. I don't know. Again, we have three days left of this promo until it officially ends. So just holding that hope here. They did they did botch the whole LTD event, so you never really know with them. But guys, about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's weekly muck content video again. This is just for the whole week, what we can expect. Again, no big promos. All the big promos for this month will be Blitz and Thanksgiving, which will be the final week and a half of the, the month. So that's what we're going to be expecting there. But it's about it for that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're into the channel and you want to join the Poodle Squad, all you guys got to do is like the video, comment down below, turn on that noti bell, and that's about it. Comment down below, Poodle Squad. And that's it, guys. If you want to be shout out to this shout out was Madden Man, so you guys have the next shout out. All you got to do is enter. And if you guys need coins to pick up any of the cards that are coming out this week, if you want to join some of the contents, most feared stuff, head over to Mutt Reserve down below. Use code Poodle for 15% off. Take advantage of the, the Halloween sales going on all over there on Mutt Reserve. But yeah, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. I will be doing the Team of the Week video, which you would have seen already because this should be the video coming out after. So make sure you check out the Team of the Week reveal, which will be going on this morning. But yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.